Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Fitchburg headlines on uh, this Thursday, January 5th, 2022. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day. Glad you're tuned with us here for some headlines. We start uh, with the weather update. Good news, better news to tell you about here for the day. First, we start uh, with uh, the slick spots this morning. Still be slick spots uh, today uh, with highs in the low to mid uh, 30s. Uh, exercise caution when you're out, uh, especially in the AM. Otherwise, above normal temperatures are on the way and that's the exciting thing. Let's take a look at uh, this uh, forecast looking ahead and it's above normal temperatures through next week, uh, which uh, bad for you winter lovers. Good news for you <laughs> warm folks that uh, like the warm uh, warm folks warm weather folks let's say it that way uh, who like that uh, we're going to be above uh, 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 with temperatures here up in the uh, upper uh, upper 30s uh, to around 40 on Monday. Uh, and then it slowly starts to uh, kind of even out, if you will, but it is going to be warm here moving uh, forward. So we'll see uh, how that uh, plays out uh, in the next uh, week here. But it looks like uh, that's what will happen. And you know what's going to happen on the backside of that. will probably be some huge snowstorm. So we'll keep an eye out for that. I'm not saying there is, but you know it's winter all right the holiday tree pickup continues this week if you haven't put your tree out on the curb you need to do so asap make sure you have it on the curb by 6 30 a.m uh, and you can uh, find more information on our uh, tree pickup and all of our uh, pickups by the way uh, through uh, our website that's fitchburgwi.gov that includes our uh, recycling of holiday refuse and read the recycling and refuse guide is available online the next pickup for holiday tree pickup will be the week of January 16th. So keep that in mind if you've missed it already this week. You can get it on the 16th. Turning our attention to the Badger Prairie Needs Network, they're looking for uh, help uh, with uh, their uh, bag collection here. They're in need of some bags. It says here we continue to run low on paper bags while we encourage guests to bring their own the increased demand for our services means we still go through lots of them. We'd rather recycle bags that others donate instead of purchasing them with money that could go towards food. Please bring them in to the volunteer entrance or uh, in back during our regular pantry hours and says thank you uh, here for your help. Property tax information, remember that your property tax still uh, can be paid uh, through the end of this month here at City Hall. Uh, where can you pay your taxes? Well, you can send them in by mail. Checks can be mailed to our uh, City Hall here at 5520 Lacey Road. Do not send cash payments in the mail online. You may use our paymentservicenetwork.com. That's a third-party vendor uh, that does charge a convenience fee. It will let you know what that charge will be based on uh, your tax that are owed. Uh, that service is available through January 28th and then you cannot use it uh, anymore. Dropbox available 24 hours a day, seven days a week in our foyer here at City Hall. No cash payments in the Dropbox, please. What hours are we open to pay your taxes? Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. We will be closed on Monday, January 16th, but we'll reopen on the 17th. And as far as, uh, as as of February 1st, payments then need to be made to the county treasurer. That's going to be mailed to Dane County Treasurer, P.O. Box 1299, Madison, Wisconsin. All property tax information is on Access Dane. You can uh, go there to find and learn more. Keep those vents clear. I know uh, we're on a uh, significant meltdown right now, but uh, we do continue with the weather and we want to make sure you stay safe. Uh, when uh, uh, was the last time that you even checked to make sure your vents outside were clear and free of snow? Well, don't wait until it stops falling. Block uh, vents uh, could cause carbon monoxide to build up in your home, prevent CO poisoning by clearing snow from exhaust vents and pipes and uh, learn uh, more ways to protect yourself from the Department of Health Services and Ready at Wisconsin. They've got great information on protecting yourself during the winter months uh, and uh, CO uh, carbon monoxide information as well. And a flu and RSV update for you. Uh, thankfully, RSV has been going down a lot according to the Department of Health Services. Uh, this is good news. Uh, and the data through December 24th also shows the same. Have a great day everybody.